How's it going, everyone? It's Reversal Trader King, where I catch you guys tops and bottoms in the stock market. What I want to show you guys is um, a different strategy that I have been working, and it's uh, we're going to start doing this on Monday in the Discord. All the uh, people who watch me, um, you guys know I love this strategy. I love swing trading. But you got to understand, we're in, you know, we're in a market, and you got to um, know, like, pennies will go up really big, right? They can go up really big, but most of the time they come crashing down. So if we know that and um, we see this system work constantly all the time, we need to start taking advantage of the two sides of the coin. So what I'm getting at is um, we're going to start looking for shorts above the ATR of four. And, we're, and I'm going to find these stocks all the time. And it happens the majority of the time where when it starts getting above the ATR of four, we look for shorting opportunities because we know it comes crashing down fast. And then same thing with over here. Same candle here. It comes crashing down fast. So I love being a bull. I love I, I love doing all of that. But to me, and honestly, it doesn't make sense to fight you know what the bulls know the bulls or, or what the bears know the bears know this is going to come crashing down because it cannot upstand the the average to range of above four it, it's just really hard to do i have seen really rare scenarios but with this system if, and if you join the premium discord you can link click the link down below where it says join the premium discord for my larson system you can see all the stuff and um um, how I look to do this. I have a lot of education videos that I'm going to teach you guys, but this is a phenomenal strategy. If I'm going to day trade, this is the strategy I'm going to do. So, um, for for example, Cavill, we, we see it's above the upper band, um, so we would look for preciser entries. And when I'm looking at this chart, I want to make sure I get the most precise and have a little bit of wiggle room just in case if something goes bad, you know, let's just say they have a hollow pump, right? We, we've seen those kind of pumps. But I try to stay away from Chinese stocks because those can be very extreme and um, you don't want to get a margin call. So we want to make sure you do have a stop loss and you're like, enough is enough. And then, um, but let, let me show you what, what's happening here. So we knew we were above the average ATR of four. The highest point this stock got to was 837. And um, we never would look to short this thing in the beginning of the pre-market because as you know volume is very manipulated in there and there's not as much so it can go drastically higher in a blink of a second right 25 percent 37 percent in a minute what we want to do is wait till market opens see what price does and i've noticed usually around 10 o'clock is when price starts steadying out and you look for your entries so um you guys know, you guys uh, that watch my videos and, and you know what, what I do, I love to find trend reversals because those are going to be your biggest moves up. When you don't see price touch the EMA 20 in some time, and especially on a lower time frame, it goes shooting fast down to it. Well, we want to make sure that we, you know, we had the time distance plus the upper band touch, and that is really what we see right in here. We start seeing that. We really start seeing it right in here, kind of try to touch it, right? So we, we can take an analysis on this. Oh, oh, my bad. Take analysis on this and be like, okay, we're getting really close. Um, what What's the room down to the EMA5? It's not as much as I wanted to. I want to see an overextension move. And that is where this candle comes in. And, and then it tries to go up even higher. But like I said, as long as you have some wiggle room, you know this is going to come crashing down. And you can make massive money from an $8 range. And then hit the EMA20 back in at 5 uh 74 and so then the rest of the day you just kind of like wait it out because we, we take it from the ema 20 and we're gone the rest of the day you wait it out see anything exciting this was somewhat exciting i wouldn't have taken that um let's see what we have in here um right in here we, we started to see um a upper band touch but we don't have quite the time distance we want to see you know around you know five to ten minutes as you can see right in here we have one minute uh, let's see right here. Right here, we touched the EMA 20. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But we're already at the EMA 5. And oftentimes, you get the bounce effect right in here. And so then it goes right back up. So um, right in here was a very nice entry. What I would do is if it touched the upper band right here, we would look for the um, entry about right here at 782. It goes up higher, which is no big deal because we have plenty of plenty and plenty of um 
uh, short uh, potential, you know, to get stopped out. Because, li like I said, I have percentages. I don't want to discuss the whole thing. But I want you guys to be aware of the, the astronomical returns you guys can get. Look at this. 837 all the way back down to 450. Literally massive, almost 100% return right there. That That's crazy, right? So, you know, why... You know, when a stock goes up, I never understand why is bulls trying to fight the, the, the momentum when when we clearly see when we're at an ATR4 and you look at the history of these stocks, they're all pumps and dumps. So it never made sense to me if, you know, you know why day traders, yeah, you can make money, but you're, you're kind of fighting against the bigger picture of what's going to happen. The bears are going to win this. We know it's going to win this. We got to get more precise or entries. But, but in, in effect, though, if you're day trading, you got to know when to get in and out, too. So you got to have the same stop loss as shorting. So it makes way more sense to um, look to, to short these overinflated pennies that go up big and then, and then they come crashing down. I'm going to keep showing you example and example as it's going to happen so many times. Like right in here, we hit the ATR4 and it comes crashing back down. We know price can't sustain that level and it goes down. Right in here, hit the ATR4, and, th and this is all the gains you need. Right back down to this EMA5. We don't care. We already made massive money based on this little short signal. Right here, comes crashing down. That's totally fine. Right here, comes crashing down. And, and, and this is totally fine because we're only shorting when it's above the upper band here on these top wicks here. Right here, comes crashing down. Right here, comes crashing down. So... Yes, it can kind of magnet like that and bounce off of the EMA5. If you guys don't know, that's where my exponential moving average is. But like I said, guys, if a stock is looking like this and you don't know the system and you're just now watching this and you're learning about my channel, I would never buy Cavill as a bull. I just would not. And it doesn't mean I want this company to fail. It just means I don't want to lose money, if that makes sense. Like... You know, we, we know what the history does. More often than not, this comes crashing down and it's going to hit the EMA5 for a very fast retrench, uh, retracement. So if the, you know, if it's so much up here, the EMA5 is standing at $3.04. Of course, it's going to fluctuate a little up. It's just too risky to take this. And as you can see, we're already at $4.50. We're literally back to the EMA5 on Monday, as we just literally went all the way to 837 and we come crashing down to 305, I bet. So that's why I really love this system. I love trend reversals. And on the flip side of things, I buy when stocks tend to go to the bottom band and we look for a move back up. That's the same scenario we're getting. Um, but I like to I like to play those extreme reaction moves. Like when you see price like in here, not really just hanging out in the you know exponential moving averages, there's really not much. For price to do it's just you know just hanging out and chilling but when you start seeing when price gets overextended to one area to another this is when you get the big swings to the upside the next candle here was 118 percent um when it gets over here you know you get the next candle that goes down 32 percent and another candle that goes down 20 percent it's actually more you know if you think of the percentages when it goes down because look at that nine dollars all the way to three that's well over 100 percent returns so um yeah i wanted to make this quick update uh cavill i am not a buyer um i wanted to say you know this is how you play the double edge so you know the double edged swords on these you know if you guys want to learn more about this system i do have an education all into the day trade uh chat which is shorting here where you can learn about how I look to do this, and I'm going to actually do entries and exits with a stop loss on Monday uh, coming into the next trading week. Because there's always going to be plays like this that go above the ATR4, and we just be looking to, to uh, short these plays. So it's just a matter of finding them and executing fast with precision, right? If you guys want to join the premium Discord, it's only... Um, twelve dollars for the whole package you know if you, you hit the day trade chat um you it's another six dollars or you want to do just swings it's six dollars i'm telling you it's the cheapest for what you get we have over four thousand members that trust this system yes nothing is perfect but i promise you you're going to know why you take trades it's not just a, a discord that tells you you know entries and exits it's, it's more about the confidence in why you want to take a trade we all know why we're taking these trades because we know the the reversion to the mean we love trend reversals we love big moves what comes up must come down 
but we don't want to just get hasty and just randomly buy into the first things here. We want to know why we're buying in and we want to know there's massive distance to the downside. And so that's why we wouldn't have taken this because there wasn't enough time distance. And um, we've got to be very careful. Like for this trade right here, made perfect sense. We had massive time distance, you know, we had 937 and didn't hit till 1006. 30 minutes is very long. And so we knew this was a very nice trade all up in here to accumulate for a massive move down. I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you do want to join the premium discord, hit the link down below. It'll say join the premium discord for my alerts and system. It'll take you to this free chat landing page. Please read how to subscribe, read avoid scammers and all that. And it's one of the best things I can, I, I can assure you the cheapest, uh, the cheapest, uh, best way to subscribe is just by clicking the day trade, uh, chat for shorting. And, uh, when you get in there, it, it will be $12 and you get all the things. If you just want swing trading, then hit, uh, the swing trade, swing trades, it'll be only $6. And what you're going to get is my actual entries, exits, alerts, journal, and, and my wins and losses and my whole progress. So I hope you guys wake uh took this um take this analysis. This is not me trying to cause fear. Cavill could absolutely go up from here. It's just like it, it's more of a probability game in trading. No one can say they know exactly where it's going, and nobody knows where exactly where it's gonna drop. I can't say it's gonna drop to the EMA5, but I can't say it's gonna do it on Monday. But as you can see from what we've seen, it's already at 444. The EMA5 is at 304. So price could easily hit that and retest it and make a move up. And if you guys don't know, that's my EMA5 here, this purple band. And more often than not, price has always been like hitting it to a T. So um, yeah, I, I really appreciate you guys. Um, if you guys like this video, give it a like, subscribe, comment. Let me know how you feel about it. This is Ticker Cavill. I am bearish on it this is my shorting strategy i just want to show you guys kind of what i'm looking for and if you guys do want to join the shorting day trading channel it's always there in my discord if you want to join it and much love guys uh if you guys like the video give it a like subscribe comment let me know how you feel about it and i'll be in the discord if you need any if you need me and um, peace out